But this is a, uh, a, a recreation of some letters between his uh, grandfather and uh, my great grandfather. Uh, I'll start it. Then you start. <laughs> These were the letters, and you'll see a change in, in attitude as it goes. My dear Simon, I read with interest and no little concern of your speech in the Senate last week about free trade and protection. As you know, this paper, The Age, and indeed the Victorian Government, has supported protection over many years. Your speech advocating, advocating free trade runs directly counter to the policies of this paper, and I would really like to discuss it with you. My dear David, thank you for your letter. I'm very happy to call in your office and discuss these issues with you. But I want you to know that I have long believed in free trade as a means of best increasing the wealth of this new nation, and thus the well-being of all its citizens. I doubt you would have the arguments to persuade me to a different course. But out of long friendship, I'm happy to discuss it. <laughs> <laughs> You'll notice that, that the introductions are slightly different as we go along. It, next one was, Dear Simon, <laughs> Thank you for, your discussion, for the discussion we had yesterday. I greatly regret your intransigence. You're unwilling to listen to the most perfect and logical arguments. We need protection to enable Victorians to be fully employed and to maximise production in this state. I again ask you to review our conversation and to modify your approach. Dear David, I received your letter of yesterday. In that discussion, which was a lengthy one, I made myself clear there is a high principle involved. You and your journal have chosen to support protection, which I believe will diminish the livelihood and the living standards of all people in Victoria. I cannot, therefore, alter the approach that I took in the Senate. Dear Fraser. <laughs> there is an approaching state senate election. If you are to receive any support at all from this journal, you will need to revise your opinion. Dear Simon, I thought you knew me well enough to know that once I've made up my mind, that's it. Threats, your threats, cannot alter it. Fraser. Your name will never again appear in the correspondence columns of the Melbourne Age. <laughs> Newspapers have not ordered, you know. <laughs> Sir, you're wrong. Read the half-page advertisement I've taken out on the front page. of the age, Simon Fraser topped the Senate poll by more than 50,000 votes, and the age maintains its position as twice as big a circulator as any other newspaper in the country. And that just shows how little influence newspapers have. 